Hello and welcome back to another character creation video. My name is Lumen and today we're having a look at Remnant from the Ashes. This is a third person survival action shooter set in a post-apocalyptic world overrun by monstrous creatures. As one of the last remnants of humanity you'll set out alone or alongside up to two other players to face down hordes of deadly enemies and epic bosses and also try carve out a foothold, rebuild and retake what was lost. This is Dark Souls with guns. I think that's what the reviewers called it when it first released way back. And I enjoyed it thoroughly. I had a blast playing through this. If you'd like to read more about the game to do a deep dive for yourself, you can find some links below. And you can also, as always, find some timestamps. Now we're going to jump in here, have a look at the customization. I'm going to start with male, uh, then randomize, then female, then randomize. Yeah, that's pretty straightforward. There aren't a huge amount of options, but they are enough. I feel to make some pretty decent characters and I personally really like the way the characters look here. Now as we jump in we change in our head first. This is a pretty impactful choice, it's probably the most impactful choice even though I usually say the hairstyles make the biggest difference. In this case the head is probably the most impactful. It's basically your ethnicity choice, it's your face shape and it's your eyebrows all in one. You can see why I mean eyebrows all in one, why I say that because your hair color does not actually change the eyebrow color. So as you change your head, you will see the eyebrows change, the entire look and feel of your character obviously changes, but then also your skin tone changes. So the choices available on the first two here are as such, these choices for skin tones. Then as you go through to the next one, there you go, the skin tone choices get darker. You can see once again your eyebrows change color for those two. Pretty good skin tones. I mean, they look nice, they go dark enough, I feel. And then on this one, Different set of skin tones once again, uh, different color eyebrows once again, and different style face once again. Then the final ones. It's sort of a little mixed up, you know, you have to go back and forth a little bit, but it's probably the best way of looking at it. And that's it. For the purposes of the video, I will take face one, or head one, and we'll just roll with that. Hairstyles. Some nice choices here, and I feel like the hair quality, the texture work, and all that stuff on the hair is really nice. The facial hair, probably my highlight of the male section of this customization. I really like the way the facial hair looks. Uh, it's very simple, but it is quite satisfying in its appearance. And you'll see there's no fancy hair physics or anything like that, but they've managed to do a great job with it regardless. I will, and I almost always say this, I will just say like if they wanted to improve on one thing in this system and it's something I hope for in the second game I'd say add more hairstyles <laughs> you know it's never a bad thing having more hairstyles because I mean there's not a huge selection here but there are some decent ones now the facial hair as I mentioned I think it looks really nice uh, the goatees and stuff are a little eh, but the beard is fantastic it's like if you add the beard to to almost any of these hairstyles it sort of just looks like it fits you know it looks like it works. You do have some choices, and if you want to add a stubble to your face, then you'll have to just pick a head that has stubble built in, uh, or you know, more stubble built in. And then if you want it to sort of work with your eyebrows or whatever, then that's something you're going to have to search for as well. Because like as it stands, if you want that color, you'd have to go and pick your hair color as something like this, and then it, it matches. Uh, I don't know if it's an oversight, if it's something they didn't realize they were doing, or if it's something they wanted right from the get-go, but yeah, the fact that you can't change the eyebrow color sort of limits you in some ways, uh, but it's whatever. The hair colors are kind of nice, really nice looking colors. They actually display them nicely. It's rare that you see blondes that actually look as good as this on a character. I feel like it's kind of rare, and the red, look at that, man. That's so vibrant, really nice. All of this is sort of grounded in reality in the way that they present it. Uh, same for the eye colors here and the eyes. Yeah, they look nice. Once again, also sort of a rare situation where you have high detail on eyes, but also reasonably nice uh, color representation. Like oftentimes you pick a color and you can barely see it. In this, yeah, I feel like it stands out enough. Skin tone, we've had a look at that already. So we're going to skip over it. Now scars. I'll take the facial hair off so we can see. It's over the eye, over the nose, it's over the other eye, that's a very faint one. There's a big cross over there, slashes across the face, even more slashes all over the place, and across the mouth. And then the last one, 
three big slashes across that eye. Yeah, they look okay. Decent enough choices. Now, we shall click the voices. I'm going to stop talking and you can listen. This looks like it was important. This looks like it could be useful. This looks like it was important. Once this looks like it could be useful. This looks like it was important. Once. Hmm. This could be useful. This could be useful. Hmm. This looks like it was important. Once. This looks like it was important. Once. This looks like it could be useful. This could be useful. Hmm. Now this looks like it was important. Once. Yeah, a decent selection. Your character isn't a massive chatterbox or anything like that, but you do get to hear your voice from time to time, so it's something that you don't want to just skip. Make the choice. Make the choice. Finally, before we do the randomization, I'll just say you can change your game modes over here. I'll cover this in both uh, male and female customization. You basically get to play standard or hardcore. Hardcore, well, your character dies, it's dead. Standard, you get to respawn as many times as you want. Uh, you lose some ashes or something like that. I can't remember what it's called when you die. Uh, but yeah, you can at least keep playing hardcore. If you die, then you have to start over. Difficulty, you can go normal, hard, nightmare, or apocalypse. And then finally, you can skip the tutorial or not. That brings us to the end. Let's randomize. I think the randomization is pretty decent. There are some nice choices here when you sort of combine all the different options. And you can see that it does actually randomize all the options. Every single option gets randomized. And that's nice. That's nice. There are no body options that you can work with here, unfortunately. It would be cool if you could modify your character's look, but the look and feel of your character, I mean, that's actually part of the growth that you go through in the game when you start equipping new gear and stuff like that. And I want to say, for the most part, you, you sort of equip in a, a hat or headgear pretty early on anyway, so eh. even this customization might feel like a little bit of a waste to you. But yeah, yeah, I mean, the options here are pretty okay. I mean, your characters have a certain look and feel to them. It's this sort of rundown, post-apocalyptic look that that's, it's always going to be there because that's just the game. But I think it's a good look and it definitely suits the game quite well. I'm curious to see what the uh, Remnant 2 characters are going to look like. But there you go. That's a decent look at the male customization. Now, female. Some nice options here as well. What I'm going to do to start is I'm just going to bring the options down to the basic ones. And we'll take it from there. We'll sort of start on zero with everything. Because once you sort of click onto male or female or whatever, it randomizes as you get there. The female characters look nice. You can see they're a little bit smaller than the male characters already. Uh, the heads work the same way as the male one. You need to sort of pay attention to the fact that you get different skin tones on them. So the first two have these skin tones available, sort of lighter ones. Uh, the second two have darker skin tones as you can see the third two the third set have these and then the last one are somewhere in between these last two it's pretty okay you will notice this is something that I noticed almost immediately was <laughs> that that the females their eyebrows, as you can see, they're all just this dark brown, you know, or blackish color. Uh, with the male, you have like red eyebrows, you have gray eyebrows, you have all sorts of... It's, it's really weird. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's a really small thing. It's kind of unimportant, but it's something to note that your face choice is important. It chooses your ethnicity, your skin colors, your eyebrows, and in, you know, countless other things where your face is concerned. But there you go. Let's look at the hairstyles. I kind of like the female hairstyles here. I think it's generally because I personally prefer shorter styles, and these are mostly shorter hairstyles. So I sort of, I enjoyed them. Mostly shorter. Again, mostly to suit the game, I think. This is nice. I like this one quite a lot as well. This is the only hairstyle I think with physics on it. That's very interesting. It looks like they can do the physics relatively well. Okay. Uh, let's just pick the first one again. Then we'll look at the hair colors. Same as on male. 
Uh, I personally like the hair colors. I think that they look relatively good on the hair that they have here. And yeah, they're impactful. They're cool, they're cool, they're cool. It's never a bad thing to have more hair colors. Never a bad thing to have more hairstyles. Uh, I think that players would obviously always like more over less. If it's done properly. Eye colors. Same as on male. Decent, decent, decent. Big fan of how much detail they have, along with how bright the colors are. Skin tone we've had a look at already. And now we're going to look at the scars. It's just over this eye over here. Kind of faint, you know, over the nose. That's over this eye. You can barely see it. Don't even bother trying. Uh, there's a cross over here. It goes over the chin. This goes a slash across the face. There's a cross on this side, and it goes over the top there as well. This is over the mouth on the bottom. And finally, this will be three slashes on the side. Now, let's have a look at the voices. Or have a listen. This could be useful. I wonder what this is. This could be useful. Hmm. This looks like it was important. Once. Oh, what's this doing here? Hmm. Wonder what this is. This looks like it was important. Once. What's this doing here? I wonder what this is. What's this doing here? Huh. This looks like it could be useful. There you go. Decent choices. It's not a meaningless choice. You do hear your character from time to time. Doesn't talk all the time, but it's a choice you should probably pay attention to. Finally here, before we randomize, we have the game modes. You can do standard or hardcore. Standard, you can die as many times as you want. You lose your souls in this game. The equivalent of your souls when you die. You just have to pick them up again. Uh, in hardcore, if you die, you're dead. You have to restart. Yeah, it's a pretty easy choice, I think. Difficulty is normal, hard, nightmare, or apocalypse. And then finally, you can skip the tutorial. Now, let's randomize. Let's see what the ladies look like. This looks like it was important. Look at the contrast there between the skin, the face, and the eyes. That's beautiful. I wonder what this is. Oh, that's kind of nice as well. This looks like it could be useful. Very cool. Hey, this could be useful. Oh, what's this doing here? Once again, like the males, I do feel like you sort of funneled into a certain style of character, but that is once... Like, like as I've made, I think I've mentioned that a bunch of times already in this. It's like you, you are playing a certain kind of this character like here. Rundown, post-apocalyptic survivor, one of the last remnants of humanity. Like uh, sort of, it, it shines through a little bit when, you, <laughs> when you're looking in the mirror. It shines through a little bit. Not a bad thing. It's just sort of something you must sort of come to grips with when you start the game. You've got to realize that. You might not find your dream look here. Because you're making the best of a bad situation, this looks like it even with your visual style. <laughs> this looks like it was important. But they are nice looking characters, for real. I love the models that they have here. Again, I really like this the hair. Like but there you go. That is it, guys. Remnant from the ashes. I'd love to hear from you guys what you thought of this game, if you had played it already. And yeah, I'd love to hear if you're keen for Remnant 2, or if you've played Remnant 2 already, if you enjoyed it. That's funny, because sometimes people go play the second game first, then they come back for the first game, and that's also kind of cool. So, you can check back here soon for more. Give this one a like, and share it, and do all that other good stuff. Most importantly, happy creating those characters. Happy that.